Some parents in the suburbs say anti-mask protesters are getting out of hand outside of a Glen Ellen Elementary School. WGN's Mike Lowe has more from the western suburb. This corner in Glen Ellen has become the latest battleground in the fight over masking inside of schools, with some parents say they're upset with protesters harassing their kids as they walk to school, while the protesters say they're simply making a point about government overreach. And of course, they don't like it that we come here and just let people know that they can stand up for themselves. Former Republican state representative and gubernatorial candidate Jeannie Ives was at the corner of Elm and Main Streets across from Forest Glen Elementary School again today. We're, we're just standing up for our children. We're standing up for individual rights, and these people want to be a arm of the government. Decrying Governor Pritzker's order that all school kids wear masks. So there's nothing unsafe here. Parents at the school say the anti mask protests have been staged since the start of the school year, and they say some protesters have been hostile, bordering on bullying. I've heard offensive, crude, and inappropriate language directed at children. The frustrations boiled over at a village board meeting where parents pleaded with elected officials to do something. Basically, calling the children slaves. Um, uh, uh, one gentleman likes to say Heil Hitler or call them Hitler Youth. Um, it, it's offensive. And since the first day, her journey to school has been filled with harassment and fear and anxiety from the protests. That whole dynamic on that intersection is a disaster waiting to happen. Police Chief Philip Norton responded telling parents he was powerless to stop the protests. But under the First Amendment, people have that right. This hasn't risen to the level of what we call, you know, fire in the crowded movie house. And it distresses us as a police department to have our hands tied somewhat in how we can react. District 41 School Board President Robert Bruno also asked the village to find a solution. A child's walk to school should not be subject to threat intimidation, and menace. Meantime, Governor J.B. Pritzker, who ordered that masks be worn in all schools back in August, citing the rise of cases because of the spread of the Delta variant, said today that masking remains an important public safety measure. It's, it's perhaps now more important than ever as we have our children back in schools all across the state that we're trying to keep them healthy. And the district itself did not respond to WGN's request for a comment. Reporting in Glen Ellen, Mike Lowe, WGN News.